Hello and welcome to the Power Bank Expert YouTube channel. Today we'll be uh, looking at Inu Power Bank model number BIB63. Uh, it's a power bank that has 25,000 milliamp power. And just straight off the bat, I would like to say that I really love the box it comes in. It's cardboard uh, box, whereas most other power banks come in plastic boxes. So this one is more eco-friendly and I really like that. And inspecting the box uh, closer, we can see that it comes with a three year warranty which is longer than the um, traditional one year warranty that most other power banks come with. So this, uh, I think, speaks to the quality of the product inside. So um, without uh, further ado, let's just have a look at what's inside the box. So straight up, we can see the power bank, uh, which is wrapped in a plastic cover. And besides the power bank, we have two charging cables, uh, one USB Type-C to USB Type-C and one USB Type-A to USB Type-C. We have a car carrying pouch, which is pretty nice if you want to travel around with it. And we have the user man. As a first impression, it seems like pretty well built power bank. Uh, given its capacity, it's rather thick, uh, a little bit heavy, but it is expected for a power bank at 25,000 milliamp hour. So on the front side, you have this really big display screen, which I think is pretty nice compared to most other power banks who only have like four or five LEDs to indicate the charge. This one comes with huge display screen, which shows you how much the power bank is charged. And we can give it a try and see if the power bank is partially charged or not. And here on the side, there is a power button. And if we press it, we should see the charge. And yes, this one is uh, charged up to 83%. I like that you can see exactly how much charge this power bank has. So it's a pretty nifty feature and besides the big uh, play screen on the front you can also see the logo and also motto here by Inu fast charge power bank designed by Inu and if we look at the power bank from the other angles here we can see the ports and this power bank comes with three different ports two USB type C ports and one USB type A port and I must say I really like the setup because most power banks with three ports usually come with two USB type A ports and one USB type C. But this one is the other way around. And I think it's better like this. I like uh, the fact that there are two USB type C ports instead of just one, because these are the ports that are going to be more common in the future as the USB type A port becomes phased out. So from this point of view, I really like this uh, port setup. Furthermore, you can see the charging values of each port. So uh, the first USB Type-C port can supply up to 65 watts of power, which is pretty much enough to even charge laptops. So that's very nice. So if you want to use this uh, power bank to charge laptops, it's something you definitely can do. Uh, the other USB Type-C port charges up to 30 watts and the USB Type-C port up to 22.5 watts of power. So it can provide some uh, very good charging speeds, which is definitely something you need to consider when purchasing a power bank such as this one. If we look on the, this other side, we can see that there is a slot here and if you slide it, it becomes a stand for your mobile phone. And I think this is a very nifty feature. You can actually use the power bank as a stand for your mobile phone as you're doing something else and maybe you want to watch some uh, YouTube clips and you can very well use it to charge your phone while you watch some movies. So I think this is a very nice feature to have and I wish I'd see it implemented on more power banks. So I think these are some good bonus points for you new here. And also on this side, you can also see some information about capacity and charging values of the power bank. I think it's very similar to the ones on the box. And this is about it when it comes to the power bank itself. And another thing that I want to mention and which is not mentioned on the box, but this power bank can also charge devices that require very little power. It's also called trickle charging. So uh, devices like uh, fitness bracelets, uh, Bluetooth headphones and so forth, they require very minute amounts of power. And most power banks are designed to automatically shut down if the power drone is under a specific amount. 
So only some power banks come with the feature of charging this kind of devices that require low amounts of power. And this is one of them. And uh, another thing that it's worth mentioning is that if you want to charge low power devices, unlike other power banks, you don't have to activate this mode. In other power banks, you would need to do something special like press the power button for five seconds to activate the low charging mode. But in this case, you just plug the device in and you're ready to go. So this is uh, something you should uh, know about if you have uh, Bluetooth headphones on, or uh, fitness bracelets or any kind of device that requires low amounts of power. And this uh, is uh, something you should consider when buying a power bank such as this one. Another important uh, aspect I would like to mention about this power bank is the fact that it can be charged uh, in up to 3 hours. And now this is quite fast given its capacity of 25,000 mAh, considering that other power banks with similar capacities can be charged in anywhere between 4, 6, 8, maybe 10 hours, right? But in order to achieve this fast charging time of 3 hours, you would have to use a wall charger that can provide up to 45 watts of power. If you will use a charger that will provide less than that, of course the charging time will be longer. But overall, charging a power bank at this size in 3 hours, that's a very good thing. And lastly, I'd like to mention the fact that this power bank is airline safe, so you can easily travel around it and take it on planes because it's under the 100 watt hour maximum limit capacity. This is a very good thing if you would like to take around with you during your travels. And even though it's a little bit bulky and heavy, it's still something you can easily carry around in your backpack, so you won't really feel carrying it around. So I think it's a good solution for people who travel around and would uh, like to depend on their power bank for uh, several days at a time. So I think this power bank, if you're just charging your phone and maybe a tablet, can last for a week or so. Now, this was the Inu power bank. Thank you for joining me today and I'm uh, hoping to see you again in some of my next videos. Thank you and goodbye.